Okay, so you guys, I didn't make it into that uh, other, into my shop to where I usually do my videos at. Uh, but I'm going to do a real quick video. It just kind of popped in my head that I wanted to do it a while back. And I never did do it. So I just thought, you know what, instead of dragging all this stuff over there, might as well just go ahead and do it in here. Uh, it's going to be kind of crappy uh, video possibly. But it might be alright. So let me get into it. So... This right here, if it focuses, this right here, all them rocks and stuff, is what I found while uh, doing the detasseling. The uh, detasseling corn job that I had this past summer. And, you know, these are all flint, except for, I think, about two or three of them. I don't really know what they are, and I'll show you those first. Now, these here are like fossil-type things. See how that there's got, like, lines on it? almost looks like part of a fossil now this here is just got a bunch of weird looking bubble bumps type things on it I thought it was pretty cool looking so I kept it there you go now I've focused really well that's what it looks like then this here is one that I was very oddly confused about it almost looks like some sort of a fossilized something or other it's very neat looking. I don't quite know what it is, but it is pretty cool to look at. This here is just a big chunk of flint that has not been napped or anything like that. This is actually what they used to use to make arrowheads out of. This is just a big chunk of it that I found. Okay, sorry about that. Um, this here is just a big chunk of flint that they used to use uh, to make arrowheads out of a long time ago and it's pretty neat looking it's uh, got all these cool looking gray and white lines in it and stuff then this here oops almost dropped one this here it's basically just a little chunk of flint uh, I actually thought it was an arrowhead when I first seen it, but it, but it's not. You can see how it's kind of shaped like one, but it isn't. It's rounded and and not very flat. But then here's a little, here's a couple little miscellaneous chunks of flint. You know, like that one right there. Just some right normal little chunks of flint that could have possibly been carried around by somebody. You know, this one here kind of possibly could be a, like a knife or something. Like one of those, what they call those skinners or uh, um, uh, scrapers for like uh, coon hides and kite hides and stuff. They used to use these to scrape the uh, flesh off of the uh, hide. And you can tell it's kind of sharp right there. So it could have been like somebody hold, held it right here and sat there and went like that right there and scraped the skin off the hide. Then, you know, I got this here, big old square chunk of flint. And this one here's got a lot of uh, gray and white in it. It's got a lot of different colors of uh, gray and white in it. Then this one here possibly could have been napped a little bit. It kind of looks like it's been worked. Uh, it's got a lot of gray on the bottom. And then on the top part, it's white. It's still got some dirt in it. I haven't cleaned it out yet. Then, then right there them five right there are the coolest of the finds that I've gotten I'll show you this one here first now this here has a sharpened edge on it and we believe that it could have been part of a knife or maybe just a uh, broken off end of a scraper because you can tell it is broken off um, it could have been part of a scraper that just got broken off or something like that then I got this here. This here is kind of a cool little piece. It's very sharp. It really is. It's very sharp on both sides. But you can tell it's been napped and worked a few times by the Indians back in the old days. Then I found this here, which uh, is one of the more rare pieces I found. There's not a lot of black flint in this part of Illinois. As you can see, all of this is white flint except for those two and that one but this here is the only piece of black flint I found out there in cornfields and we've done a lot of cornfields 
walked a lot of miles and this is the only piece of black flint I found and you can tell it's either part of a knife or maybe a scraper or something like that because it's very sharp there on the, on the end you know it would not be very hard for somebody to uh, use this as a scraper then got basically the same thing you can tell they're shaped almost exactly the same this here is just a white piece of flint but it's almost exactly the same as that one there now the next one is one of the most is one of the most uh, intact whole arrowheads I've ever found and it's really cool it's kind of a pinkish colored uh, flint now with the light on this camera you probably won't be able to tell the exact color of it but it is kind of like a pinkish colored flint there it is if it's going to focus will it focus it's not going to focus okay oops i dropped it i got it though but that's there is the most uh well put together it's got a little bit of the tip broke off and a little bit of that uh part there broke off but it's still pretty cool um, it's the most intact piece of an arrowhead I've ever found. So it's pretty neat. It's missing the tip. But that's about it. So that there is all the pieces of flint. And cool little like fossil looking things there. That I found while I was out in the cornfields. Doing the detasseling. Okay. So I got a question for you guys. Now I'm sure a lot of you. Uh, well, maybe not a lot of you, but some of you guys that watch my channel might watch, uh, UFC and, and, uh, boxing and all that stuff. So I got a question for you. Now, my personal opinion, I think McGregor's going to win, but it's like two nights, uh, two nights away, three nights away, whatever. So I want you guys to put your opinions down in the comments. Who do you think's going to win? Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather, or Conor McGregor? I honestly think that it's going to be Conor McGregor, but let's see what your opinion is.